In this video, I will show a few examples of the crystal shapes that formed after I created the egg geodes. I'm using my digital microscope here, which is magnifying my crystals about 40 times their size. If you look at the four squares of the screen, you'll see that as I turn the focus knob, it focus is better in some corners than in others. It looks like these crystals are more hexagonal in shape, six-sided. So um, they're very similar to what quartz crystals look like and how they're formed up close. Now I'm going to change that. And instead, I'm going to replace it. With one that I created from Epsom salt, so we can compare the differences in the crystal shapes. This one I used blue to color. Let's get that into some focus. Now, you look at some of these shapes that are clinging to the wall of the eggshell, they seem to be much longer by contrast to the others. I'm just going to turn it around so you can find a good position there. Okay, so it seems that these crystals that formed from Epsom salt formed longer crystal structures. More needle-like would be the description. And they probably would resemble more like probably elongated cubes, four-sided. Note that really lovely design as we spin around the geode see different parts of it and how the evaporation over time, the water leaving the solution leaves behind some unique patterns. Uh, air pockets form also in between some of the precipitate and so you have a very unpredictable and unique formation every time, kind of like with a snowflake. There. See those. Now, some of them are a little bit squarish. Um, it is possible that some of them broke and cracked a little bit, but mostly with Epsom salt, we tend to see the um, elongated, uh, almost needle-like crystals left behind. The first one was borax. Let me just show you another one, which is um, something that used to be used kind of like as a detergent years ago and a whitener. This is another one. However, the different thing about this is that it was a combination. Um, I started coating it with Epsom salt first, and then I dipped it into a solution of borax. And so in this one, if you have a good eye, you should be able to see some needle-like structures in combination alternating with some more quartz-like structures. Really nice sparkle. I'm gonna turn that, you can see other parts of it. Isn't that lovely? Some of them clustered in a corner together, as you can see that big white kind of cluster. And that's what I mean by how air pockets form and um, leaving some big clumps behind and some areas where there's more space.